hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are very welcome my name is Pinta and I share cooking videos here those of you guys are there since the beginning of this channel you guys are amazing thank you so much for the love and support very welcome click that subscribe button and share the video with your friends in today's video I'm gonna share with you guys Gambian recipe I'm gonna show you guys how to make kalbu so here are the ingredients I'm gonna use for this recipe. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dice the tomato and the spring onions and bell pepper. If you don't have food processor, you can dice them very fine. So, but I'm using the food processor to make the job easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> then I'm gonna dice them just roughly chop. Then I, ginger and garlic, just dicing the ginger. Then I'm gonna add the green bell pepper and green bell pepper then that's all I'm gonna blend it just put the lid on just 30 seconds is done you can see the consistency then I'm gonna put it aside then I will dice chop the onions the same inside the food processor but the onion will not be just like that. You will see. Now I'm going to roughly chop the onions. Then I put it in the food processor to just make it easy. To chop the so now I'm just going to chop the onions. They are done. You can see the con that's what I'm looking for. It's not blend very fine. Then I'm going to season the fish. I'm using baramandi here. You can use any fish of your favorite. Then I'm gonna season with salt and lime, of course. And then I'm gonna add this seasoning. Is a fish seasoning, so I'm gonna add and mix it. Then I will fry it. That's done. Then what I'm gonna do here now? I'm gonna fry the fish. It's um, kaldu is a little bit similar with yasa, but Caldo doesn't have mustard like Yasa have mustard and Caldo doesn't have lots of lemon like Yasa but you can add some lemon or tamarind. I'm gonna add tamarind you will see yeah they are a little bit similar but different flavors yeah so now the fish is done I'm gonna remove it then I will fry the onions Just give them a few minutes both sides and they will be done. Then now the fish is done, I'm just going to remove it. Then I will fry the onions. Then now I'm just going to fry the onions, the diced onions. Blended onions. So I'm gonna add the onions and then I'm gonna add the pepper and the tomatoes earlier on. So then I'm gonna fry them for a few minutes, then I will add the seasoning. Let's see, but I'm gonna add bay leaf, salt. I just caramelize it for a few minutes, then I'm gonna add tamarind. Adding tamarind paste. And this one has some seed, but I just added there. And black pepper, lots of black pepper. And then I'm gonna fry it for maybe around um, four to five minutes, something like that. Then I'm 
gonna fry it. Just, then I will add water. I will add the eggplants. I'm just using the vegetable, I just eggplant. You can use carrots, cassava, any vegetable you like to eat. But I decided on this recipe, I just want to use all the eggplant. <laughs> but you can use any vegetable you like. Then what I'm going to do, the next is going to, I will add water. I just fry them for around three minutes, something like that. Then I will add a little bit of water, one cup of water, not a little bit. Then I will add soy sauce. I add soy sauce, one cup of water, then I add one teaspoon of soy sauce, one, one and, and I'm adding some salt, make sure so it's enough seasoning. Then I add some habanero peppers, you can see. And now I'm gonna let it cook for maybe a few minutes. Then I will add the fish and so the fish can have more flavor and the fish doesn't, it's cooked through but you know the fish need to go in. Then I will uh, mix it through. You add the fish, you have to be careful mixing. If you don't want to use the wooden spoon, I will show you the technique <laughs> to mix it. Just you turn it around, you hold the pot and shake it. So the bottom will not be burned. For non-stick is the best. You can see what I'm now you can see the caldo is done. I'm just gonna give it maybe one minute, then I will turn the gas off. That's it, it's almost it's done. If you add too much oil, you will see lots of oil come, but I don't add lots of oil, you see. This is good. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and share the video with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.